What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I have a brand new drill for Advanced Warfare that is designed to help you master the new movement mechanics in the game. If you're looking to move around the map more effectively, or you just want to get a really good feel for the new controls, this drill is for you. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so let's get into the setup for this drill. So we want to go into a local match or a private match, whatever one you'd like. And for our game setup, I like using the map Riot. This one seems to work the best for this particular drill, at least for the first half of the drill, because this is really a two-part drill that works on basically two different uh, aspects of the movement. But Riot seems to work the best. You might want to try out some other maps, but keep in mind, not all of them will work for this particular drill. Uh, for our mode, we're going to be playing Free For All. Uh, as for our options, the only thing we really need to change is we want our time limit to be unlimited and our score limit to be 30 points. Or you could do a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on how much practice you actually want to get out of this. Uh, next, we want to have, I don't know, like 9 or 10 bots, somewhere around there. And we want these bots to be recruit. Now, you might be wondering why recruit and why don't we have harder bots? Because wouldn't that make you a better player if you're practicing against harder bots? Uh, not in this case. These bots are basically just acting as pylons and things to dodge. Uh, they're not supposed to be killing you very often because we're trying to develop a rhythm with this drill. And if you have bots that are constantly destroying that rhythm, you're not going to be progressing very well. Now the next thing is we want to create a class. It doesn't really matter what you use as far as perks and a gun and everything. The only thing that I want you guys to definitely use is the RW1 pistol. And you can use whatever attachments you'd like on it. I'm going to use advanced rifling to give me a little bit more range. Everything else is really up to you. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't use any grenades though, because grenades will just ruin your, your rhythm and your flow. So just use like any perk you want, any gun you want, any attachments you'd want. But you want to have that RW1 pistol. So that's the entire setup. Let's hop into a game and I'll see you guys once we get into the beginning. Alright guys, so we're getting into the, into the game now. And as kids, I'm sure a lot of you guys have played the game. The floor is lava. That's essentially what we're doing for the first half of this drill. I just got to find the door. I still have to learn these maps. I don't know like every square inch of them like I normally do with a Call of Duty map. So once we get outside and we get onto the roof, the floor is now lava. We can't touch the ground. We want to just stay on the rooftops. We want to use our movement, our different dashes and double jumps uh, to jump between rooftops. You might want to throw a side dash in there or you could even do a fancy 180 with a a backwards dash. We basically just want to get a really good feel for all of the different uh, dashing uh, dashing types like dashing forward, dashing backwards. You might want to throw a boost slam in every now and then but essentially we're just sticking to the rooftops and we're doing laps. Uh, you can always change up your direction or your route a little bit. It doesn't have to be all that uh, precise. We're not following an exact uh, route but essentially we just don't want to touch the ground and we want to hop between all of these different rooftops doing different uh, different maneuvers in the air when we're doing this. So we want to do side dashes, forward dashes, backward dashes, all of that stuff. If you want to get more precise, you can use just, whoops. Oh, oh, I almost saved myself. So I just sort of failed right there, uh, big time. This is all recorded live right now. So keep in mind, I may fail the odd time. So we'll get back up onto a rooftop and continue with the drill. Uh, you might want to add a little bit more precision by just jumping on top of, of these things, whatever these are. Uh, and then you're really aiming for a much smaller target, not just a rooftop, but you don't really need to just focus on the rooftops. And we're not going to be too focused on shooting enemies. Like if you want, you can try and shoot an enemy, but as you can see there, I already screwed up by doing that. So it might be good practice to maybe try taking a few shots, but that is not our focus with the drill. Our focus is simply getting used to the movements and jumping and dodging around and trying to dodge the enemy's bullets. Now you might be wondering why we even have bots in the first place if this is all we're doing because we're basically just avoiding the bots the entire time. Oh, oh, failed my boost. Uh, but this changes in the second half of the drill. So once you do this for a little while, like much longer than I'm going to do this for because I'm just trying to demonstrate for you, I'm actually going to stop now. Uh, we're going to switch it up, switch to your RW1 pistol, and this is the, now the drill that we're trying to do. We're jumping and dodging around enemies and trying to shoot them with this gun. Uh, the reason I use this gun is because you have to chamber every round and you have to be very accurate with your shots. And it forces you to dodge around enemies and, and use the movement to your advantage to win a gunfight against these enemies while still keeping perfect accuracy, or as perfect as you can. I want, I want you to try to make all of your shots while you're in midair if possible. Oh, try to do a fancy shot and then boost slam. If you'd like, you can also do boost slams. It's a great practice for boost slams. Uh, so I'm actually going to blow this car up for fun. 
I was trying to take that enemy with me. Uh, but essentially that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to boost slam, we're trying to jump around, use the movement to evade the enemy's bullets while shooting them. This is also why we use recruit bots because if we had hardened bots we wouldn't really have much of a chance of dodging their bullets. Like even the recruit bots you can see they, they can melt you pretty quick if you're not moving properly. Oh I couldn't get my aim any lower. Oh no. So yeah this is essentially what we're doing until the end of the game. Uh, I would recommend doing this for, I don't know, I like jumping around the rooftops until I really get ha get a good feel for the controls. This is not just a drill for mastering the movement at the beginning of the game. This is also something you can do if you have maybe taken a little bit of a break and you're a little bit rusty and want to get back into it. This is a perfect drill for getting back into that whole movement system. I'm going to boost slam through the window. I'm trying to find enemies, but I don't think any of them are over here. There we go. Get back to doing this. Oh, I missed my shot. And yeah, this is a great drill for helping you keep your aim on target, evade shots, get used to the, the movement mechanics in general, the different uh, dashing sideways, dashing backwards, dashing forwards, double jumps, boost slams, all of those things. It'll really help you master the movement for those particular cases. Oh, I, got, I can't even double jump right now. There we go. Oh, reload. There we go. So that's going to wrap up the drill. Uh, we'll end it with that. I didn't actually get first place, huh? I didn't play it for long enough, but I would do that until you actually get all of the kills in the match and you finish the match, but I thought this would be a nice little kill cam for you. So that's the drill. Uh, make sure you guys try this drill out. I promise you it will help you uh, get used to that movement, the movement mechanics in this game because it is a little bit of a learning curve to get used to them, especially if you don't have a scuff controller. Now, I did just record this without my scuff controller just to prove a point that you don't need a scuff to be able to do this. It does help a lot though. So that's the drill. If you enjoyed, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.